the cynical view of the FBI reopening the case into Hillary Clinton emails goes this way. Comey is just doing this to take everybody's attention off of the WikiLeaks email dump. He's going to make everybody think for the next three or four days that there's really something to be forthcoming here. I mean, opening the investigation, reopening it is a big deal. He knows that somebody, everybody's going to say, wow, there must be something brand new that's dynamite. There must be something that's going to just end it for her. And then everybody focuses on what it is, and they drop reporting the WikiLeaks scandal, which is starting to have negative impact on the Clintons. The WikiLeaks scandal right now is starting to hurt because it's exposing the fraud and the hustling and the collusion, the corruption is going on at the Clinton Foundation. You start messing around with things that are supposed to be charitable to serve humanity, you end up profiting personally from it. That's easy to understand. Everybody knows that's not nice. Everybody understands that you are not supposed to get rich off of a charity. And the news here is that the Clintons have done that and are doing that. That's easy to understand. So, as the, as Hillary starts plummeting in the polls, eight points down in the Washington Post, riding to the rescue, the Lone Ranger, James Comey, announcing that they're reopening the FBI investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. Everybody stops talking about what is easily portrayed and is easily understandable in the WikiLeaks story and start speculating on what Comey and the FBI are doing all the while nobody knows. That's the cynical view. The cynical view is that Comey is still carrying water for Clinton and is trying to get everybody to stop paying attention on the WikiLeaks dump because it's starting to have an impact. So you announce you're opening the inquiry, get everybody all hot and bothered and focused on it. And then after three or four or five days, announce that it was a false alarm. Nothing to see here. Investigation now officially over. And meanwhile, in that five-day period, everybody's forgotten about WikiLeaks. That is the cynical view of this. That is, if you know a cynic, that would be the way the cynic would interpret this. And I'm looking at Snurdly's face, and he thinks, you know what? There could be something to it. There could be something to it. Uh... Here's a quote from Comey in the letter to the chairman of the various committees. I am writing to inform you that the investigative team briefed me on this yesterday, and I agreed the FBI should take appropriate investigative steps designed to allow investigators to review these emails to determine whether they contain classified information, as well as to assess their importance to our investigation. Now, what I don't get about this is that Comey already said her emails have classified information. He just couldn't find any intent that she did it on purpose. So it's not news that she was trafficking classified information. What's, what's news is that Obama lied about it. That's What's news is that Obama knew, and he was doing it too, under a fake name. So if he's already acknowledged that she was trafficking in classified information do they have something to show bad intent now is that what they've come across that there's something that now definitely shows intent to do this the wikileaks dump shows it hell everybody in her staff talking about this knows it was the wrong thing to do they're all talking about how to shield it how to stop it how to protect it why did she do it you got the emails two or three of them I forget the actual people. Well, Cheryl Mills might be one of them. Uh, Huma Abedin might be one. Asking, what is she doing? Why is she doing it? Everybody knew it was wrong. 
Yeah, near near a tandem of ten. Yeah, that that's the woman. The, the, the whole a whole bunch of people. So what could it be?